All right. Let's do this thing. Okay, first of all, you know who it is. It's Jeremy McDonald, one of your very favorite people with Parkinson's. I got to tell you, I had a pretty crappy night last night. Uh, I had my father all over. We were supposed to watch a movie together. I got stuck in my chair. Dose didn't work. I didn't have any protein in my system. Just ate some broccoli and some crackers and a, one glass of wine and a whole bottle full of water. My medicine just completely failed. So I thought I'd come on today and talk to you guys because it always makes me feel better to talk to you guys. Uh, yeah, there we go. Pat yourself on the back, folks. All right, first of all, you might have noticed already, but I've changed the channel name from Jeremy McDonald to Parkinson's with Jeremy Mack. Now, if, you, if you've watched the channel long enough, you, you probably remember my nickname at work was J-Mack. And I thought, I could make it Parkinson's with J-Mack, but you already know me as Jeremy, so, but I kind of like the Mack part. So let's just make Jeremy Mack, Parkinson's with Jeremy and Mack. To be honest with you, when I first started this channel, it was going to be about my music. Uh, I can barely play. It's a frustrating experience. i got to tell you, my, my desire to do music is almost nil because it's so frustrating. But on the good side, what I noticed is that most of my videos that did really well were Parkinson's related. Hence, I kind of switched over from Jeremy McDonald, the musician, to Jeremy McDonald, the Parkinson's advocate. Never thought I'd say that about myself, being an ad advocate for something other than rock and roll! <laughs> By the way, I got Wayland over here. No reason. This looks pretty cool in that picture. Yeah, I like well, I like some Wayland. I really like that Wayland and Willie album that they did together. I don't have that. I should get it. So that's the first thing on the agenda, is uh, Par uh, Parkinson's with Jeremy Mack. So tell your friends, tell everybody about it. Jeremy McDonald changed his channel name. Woo! Second thing I'd like to talk to you about is this new segment I got coming up. I, I dropped one last week with Esther, and I did one about a year or so ago with my friend Michelle from Slow Dancing with Parkinson's. I'll probably put a link to both those videos in the description below, along with my email address, jmacpodcaster at gmail.com. The, the idea behind it, I wanted to call it not just Parkinson's, because I feel sometimes we get caught in this, this rut of all we do is talk about our illness. And there's something to be said about that. There's a lot of education that needs to happen. A lot of people need to know more about our disease and what we go through. But I don't want to just leave it there. And like I've, I've talked to other friends. And by the way, I, yeah, by the way, I've got, I've got some people, some really cool people lined up to do this. I basically asked you some questions. Some of them are Parkinson's related, and some of them are completely just off the record. Not off the record, but off the map of anything. Favorite songs, bands, movies, you know, things like that. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of those. If you think you've got something interesting, if you're, I guess, I guess if you think you've got an interesting story, send it to me at my email address, jmacpodcaster at gmail.com. No guarantee you're going to get on because I actually have started to accumulate quite a few people who want to come on but yeah i would like to hear from you and like i said the, the idea is let's not just talk about parkinson's let's talk about things we love bands we like foods we like places we've been so that's kind of the second thing and the third thing is just basically i kind of wanted to put it out there that i know we talk about young onset parkinson's a lot on this channel but i have received some emails from Actually, a lot of my messages I get are from older people. And one of the things that, that constantly comes up is, am I still, do you still welcome my interaction on the channel if I'm over 60 or I'm not young onset? Absolutely. freaking lutely I always felt like I wish I would have learned more from my older relatives. Not, not that they had Parkinson's, but I, like I had, I had my, my grandpa was in the service. I had uncles that were veterans. Just life experience that as a young man, I didn't, I didn't really take the time to learn about their, their experiences. So I would say that to, to the older crowd, you are more than welcome. You are, you, are, you are a very important part of this channel. I see the demographics. A lot of my demographics skew older because obviously Parkinson's is an old person's, are thought of as an old person's disease. We know that's not true. But yeah, I like to think that there's kind of a big tent, big tent operation here. Anybody can come have... They say we uh, 
don't really get political or religious on this show. I mean, you probably noticed that. Those are two topics I completely avoid. I just, that's something that I think is very personal and I don't really want to go there. Do your thing. If you want to have a channel you talk about it, do, by, by all means, don't listen to me. But that's something I I think you'll appreciate that I stay away from those topics. So, I would, uh, yeah, I would like to say that uh, if you're going to be if you're going to be on the Not Just Parkinson's, I will send you a list of questions ahead of time so you can kind of get your answers set. And I actually would like to have some some of the older folks on the Not Just Parkinson's kind of get their perspective on life and some of the things that uh, they know that they can teach us. I got to tell you, if you're in California right now, with all the wind and the rain, I feel for you. I've got friends out there. Stay safe, folks. Just absolutely stay safe. It's affecting everybody out there more in the southern part of the state as far as I know, but I've got friends in the north that's affecting as well. Stay safe out there. But that's all I got. Peace and love from the windy city of St. Louis. That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April. Shot down in May. But I know I'm going to change that tune when I'm back on top. Back on top in June.